Hi, thank you for joining me. And today I wanted to launch our new flare badges that Hey Little Magpie. These are called background flare and we're going to be producing them for all the new collections that come into the shop. So I've started with three of the new Simple Stories collections and also a few of the products from 49 Market and American Crafts. So as you can see here, I've got Wildflower from Simple Stories. These background flare are designed to be tone on tone with a design, each pack has a different design on. So this is Squiggles, for example, and the colours have been chosen specifically to coordinate precisely with the papers that they match and the embellishments as well, of course. So this is Squiggles. We've got Scallop here. All of the packs have the same colours in them for each of the ranges. So because this is Wildflower, the colours will be the same. It's just that the um, designs on them will change. This is burlap. We've got plus. Grid. I'm getting a bit of glare there. Sorry, I'm fighting with skylights and all sorts here. Um, this one is leaf and vine or vine leaves. I forget which one I called it now. <laughs> it's a little bit like the Orla Keeley pattern, that one. Chevrons, because I adore chevrons, as you will have seen if you watch my videos on my YouTube channel. And then finally, for each collection, we're going to have sentiments. So it's just words. I love flair with words on. So each one, I've chosen the font to match the fonts that are used in the collection. So this is the Wildflower one, and it's a similar font that they've used. So that's Wildflower, and I have actually done a layout with this collection. And here it is, and you can see there's the plus flare just peeping out from underneath that photo and I think they just add a little bit of something without being too obvious and because they're just a pattern all over them you could layer stickers on them or you can tuck them under your photo or your ephemera or embellishments whatever you want to do um, on this layout I've also used the build your own epoxy flare there with one of the stickers from the wildflower collection so that is wildflower now, as I say, these patterns will be repeated throughout all the collections going forward in Hey Little Magpie um, and the colours will just change to suit the collection. So I'm hoping that I'll also be able to show you that these do match other collections um, with similar tones. So, for example, I've pulled out Cocoa Vanilla these days and you can see that the tones in this paper are similar to those in Wildflower. So these papers would match really nicely together. Look, you've got the same yellows there and similar pinks. And so just bringing in one of those flare packs, you can see just how beautifully they go together. Does that show? I hope that shows nicely on the camera. So I've got some loose ones from this collection here. So there's the pink and there's the yellow. See how nicely they match. The blue's a different blue, but it still looks really nice on there. It's the same tones. So that's the first one, Wildflower. Just move that out of the way. And then I shall move on to my story. So a very different colour palette on this one. So just pulled out three of the papers to show how these match. So there are the papers. Um, and here's the scallop. And I love this lilac that we've got in here. That's the burlap and the different tones of peach and orange. That's the leaf vines. Chevron. So as you can see, it's the same patterns, but we've, I've just pulled out different colors from the papers to match them. Grid. Squiggles. And plus. And then the words to go with this one, you'll see are a very different typeface. It is like an old typewriter, but that is shown throughout the papers and in the sticker books and things. And that's why I've chosen that typeface for these sentiments. And all the words will be different on the sentiments. Some will be similar, some will be the same, but they'll look different. So that's my story. And the last Simple Stories collection that I've done is Flea Market. So much brighter tones in this one. And here's Scallop. And 
chevron, squiggle. Look at how beautiful these colours are with these papers. I love that tealy blue. Leaf vines, grid. So you can see they're the same patterns, just different colours. Plus burlap. And finally the words and again a very different font that I've chosen for these but it matches the font that's been used in this collection you can see it on this paper see memories there and notes and things are very similar so that's flea market next up is crepe paper and um Sorry, let me just grab it. This is their Gingham Garden. So you can see this paper I've pulled out because it shows all the different colours in this collection perfectly. So here's burlap. And look at that, the yellow, the greeny blues, the beiges. And there's that grey sort of colour. They just match so nicely. Squiggles. Scallop. Pluses. Grid. Chevron. And leaf vines. So as you can see, seven different patterns for each collection that I'm doing. And then of course the sentiments are here. So again, a very different font. And these have got a black outline with tone on tone for the words. And then sometimes I will try and create some extra flair that aren't part of the background collection or the sentiments collection. So for example, this one, I've pulled out the colors from the papers to create this beautiful butterfly set because I think they just go really nicely with these papers. I love the black outline because it makes them stand out. And that is Gingham Garden. And again, I just wanted to show you an alternative. So this is Maggie Holmes' Parasol, but you can see a lot of these colors are in that collection. So look, this green is there. You've got the yellow, the pinks, the peaches, and the blues. So have a look, just because it's called Gingham Garden, it doesn't mean that it's not just designed to go with that collection you'll find that these colours do mix and match with your other collections. And this will also give you an indication as to which papers you can put together. So don't feel that you only have to use Gingham Garden when you're scrapping. Put your Maggie Holmes parasol together with it. So that's Gingham Garden. Just a couple more to show you. First of all, Blooming Wild from Paige Evans. I love this because it's a nice, bright collection. So... I thought this paper shows it off perfectly. Also this one, I love the rainbows that Paige puts into her collections. It's the rainbow colours. So first of all, we've got Scallop. And look at those colours, how perfect are they? It is just a rainbow, isn't it? Leaf vines. Grid. Chevron. Burlap, squiggle, plus, so that's the seven textures, the background textures. And then here's the, the sentiments. And again, I've chosen a font that matches really nicely with Paige's collection. And then for this one, I've also got some extra flair, as I mentioned, where I can, I'll try and create extra ones. So here are some cameras. And we've done these cameras for a couple of collections. I've got it with heart eyes from Simple Stories as well. And I think probably Print Shop. I did them to match Print Shop. And heart geotags. Again, matching these colours. But um, we've also got these in wood veneer, in JD 3D print wood veneer. And a gardening set, which I thought was really cute and went really nicely with the fact that this is blooming wild. So. I can see the, sorry, I can see the uh, reflection there on those. And again, I've just pulled in a couple more papers to show you. This was Paige's Splendid Collection. And again, just look at how those colours match so nicely. 
She tends to use the same colours in all her collections so they will mix and match beautifully. And then this is from her garden shop, the previous collection. And once again, those colours work really beautifully with that collection. So that is a Blooming Wild. One more. And then we're done. And this is a smaller collection because this is the Vintage Arti Artistry Everywhere from 49er Market. Let's put that to one side for now. So these are the papers. This one shows off the colours really nicely. So first of all, we've got the squiggles. And I was a bit more careful. I haven't done many backgrounds with this because I wanted to create the vintage look that you have on these papers. And these are just solids, so it's a tone on tone solid. But the squiggle makes it work with these papers and those colours, look at how beautiful they are with that. But then I've been working really hard to work out how I can get that vintage distress look. And I think I've done it. So this is a script set. And you can see there are all sorts of different tones in the background there. It's not just a flat colour. So that's script. This is world map because it's got the world maps on them. And finally, here are the sentiments that go with this collection. And these aren't just words, they are actually sentiments. So just press pause, love to travel, we love being travellers, anywhere and everywhere and so on. You can see them all on the website. I'll link below so that you can see them. And I just wanted to show once again how these work with other 49er market. They tend to use the same tones of colours. So this is Vintage, vintage Artistry Tranquility. Gosh, that's an awful. <laughs> but you can see how beautifully these colours work with this paper too. So that's it. Any questions, please do ask down below or ask in our Facebook group. Again, I'll link that in the comments box. I really hope you've enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for joining me and I hope you like the flair. Thanks again. Bye.